Hey everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Hotel Review. Today we're checking out the Ritz-Carlton South Beach. It's located right on South Beach in Miami, Florida. It's a fantastic looking hotel. It's ultra luxury, one of the more expensive hotels on this stretch of beach. So I was excited to use my brand new Amex Brilliant Cards 85,000 point certificate for a completely free night stay, uh, plus a $50 resort fee, which is always sad to pay as a titanium Marriott. Wish they would change that. But it was all dressed up for the holidays. Uh, here's the lobby, really swanky looking lobby. This is all freshly redone, just redone in the last two years. At check-in, they did give us a nice little treat. It was an alcoholic gelato, which was delicious. Pistachio flavor, they had a couple different flavors. Loved the walls here in the hallways leading up to the room. Some cool flamingos there. We did get upgraded to a city view one bedroom suite. Uh, so that's a great benefit of titanium is that you do get these sweet upgrades at Ritz Carlton's if you fight for it. Uh, so they did offer that to us, which was nice. I did want a uh, ocean view or ocean front, even if it wasn't a suite, but it wasn't available that night. So I had to settle for a much larger room. Uh, I don't like the city view rooms uh, on this stretch of beaches because it gets so loud on Collins Avenue and sometimes you can hear it, which we definitely did from here. It wasn't too bad though. So right now we're in the living room area. Nice little mini bar here with very expensive cocktails that you can make for yourself in the room. Nice little Nespresso coffee machine. Nice brand new TV there. And then in the bedroom as well. Nice large screen TV. We're here during the World Cup Finals, so it was great to watch that on such a big screen. Uh, Ritz-Carlton bed, which I think is the best feature of any Ritz-Carlton is the bed. They're very comfortable, probably my favorite beds in all of the hotel world. And then a cute little bathroom here. Uh, definitely didn't get fully redone in the latest renovation, but um, you know had, had plenty of room for us too. Small little shower there, kind of old style marble, but uh, overall, you know, definitely fit the theme of the hotel. Definitely felt more elegant than your, than your typical hotel. Got a little separate room for the toilet there. Love the details above the bed. That was pretty cool. So the pool at night looks really nice. It's up 24 seven. They have their all day restaurant right next to the pool as well. Also serves as the pool bar. Love the room keys of the Ritz Carlton's. They always show the destinations all custom. So I do collect those, always fun. You have the mezzanine level here with pool so i got a quick shot of that and that also leads to the coffee bar and that all-day restaurant i just showed you so during the day ritz carlton looks really nice all freshly redone you have your nice pool with all the amenities that ritz carlton always has like kind of pass around little snacks like fruit skewers etc uh, cold towels during the day waters uh, they have sunscreen available so all your little amenities that you could have to pay for at a different resort it's all available to you there you have a ritz carlton kids club then you have a uh, beach bar right here on one of the lower levels on the actual beach level uh, it's connected to the public boardwalk there that separates the beach from the hotel like pretty much all the hotels on south beach you have some bags there both places to eat your lunch Showers for guests only, so they actually require you to use your room key to start the shower, which I thought was pretty cool. And then you do have your full beach service with umbrellas and chairs, padded chairs. You can also drink on the beach there. I do love the lobby's bar, really swanky looking. And then you do have right off of that little game room area, kind of a dead space that I think uh, used to have shop. So that is available to guests as well. Right outside those doors is the entrance to Bagatelli, which is a part of the building. It's kind of a clubby restaurant. It stays open very late. Uh, definitely a place to be seen. So if you're into that, that is available right there in the hotel. And you do have some more fancy perfume shops and jewelry shops right there in the lobby. On one of the upper floors, there's the spa, and then there's also the 24-hour fitness center. 
actually. Well, he did manage to get a shot of. It's not gigantic uh, for how big this hotel is, but is available to guests. So thanks a lot for watching. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time.